Hi, uh, this is Dr. Tarek Youssef speaking, and uh, I'm presenting to you today a case of uh, she has a cortical and posterior capsule cataract with uh, high corneal astigmatism of four uh, diopters. And uh, we're going to do uh, fake emulsification, tracheal implantation, and this lens is the TORIC, the SN60T5, uh, to correct uh, as much as possible from the astigmatism she has. Uh, she had monovision uh, with the other eye for close, uh, so this way she we're trying to reach the stage that we don't need uh, glass for close up or for distance as much as we can. Uh, so this this step is uh, hydrodissection, hydrodelineation, and locular dilatation. Her cataract is re not really really dense because she's young; she's in the early 40s, and. Uh, uh, now I'll uh, go with the fake one, remove the nucleus with the chopping technique. Uh, we essentially divide this nucleus into quadrants and remove it uh, in parts. But uh, it's mainly here, irrigation. it's removed mainly with irrigation aspiration as the, uh, the nucleus is too soft uh, for a patient that's in the 40s. Her mainly is cataract and uh, cataract is cortical and posterior subcapsular cataract, which make it, makes it very soft. Uh, We're done with the fake emulsification, and uh, now we're we'll going for the J cannula, which I use on a routine basis for everyone almost. And uh, essentially, we 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 do an irrigation to wash out all the cortical material, which is much faster and much safer than doing the irrigation aspiration, and it's much more efficient because uh, if you see it's in about 10 seconds, uh, I'm done with this step much safer there's no capsule captures no torn capsules and it's much more efficient because you clean everything even the stuff that you don't see now we're injecting uh, helon in the interior chamber and uh, we we did a pre-op marking uh, for the uh, 0 90 and 80 degrees uh, you can see a faint marking on the top of this the screen and on the left side uh, and uh, we usually, I, I usually try to go exactly where I set up the uh, the calculator to calculate how much lens we need to implant uh, in the the Alcon website. Uh, so that, I, for example, this was the uh, left eye. So I go on uh, 20 degrees, and it's uh, I do my incision after I measure. For it. Where exactly is the incision so that we can accurately align our uh, axis? Now this is a marker uh, to mark the axis of the stigmatism for this lady. And uh, with the alkaline lenses, I don't go through the wound uh, as uh, as my wound is 2.85 millimeters in that uh, in width, and the cartridge here uh, does not go through that. But I I usually put the lip of the cartridge on the lip of the wound and inject the lens through that. Uh, without having to go with the cartridge in or, or widen the wound. Uh, the lens is in. Uh, I'm going to try to al align the axis of the stigmatism with the axis of the uh, the cylinder of the lens, uh, doing irrigation aspiration as much as we can. And uh, and after that, I'll, I'll leave the lens almost on the target, just about t 10 degrees short of that target, uh, as uh, sometimes after this step, it can rotate a little bit. It's easier to rotate it afterwards. Uh, after we're done with all irrigation aspiration, we, we adjust it with uh, Sinsky, uh, Sinsky hook, uh, hydrating the wounds uh, using the BSS, and then uh, we hydrate using the uh, Avalox or uh, Moxifloxacin. This is the hydration of the wounds we're using the uh, moxifloxus or Avalox, which actually decreased the incident of endothomitis uh, after I started that to zero. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.